Value-based healthcare focuses on maximizing the value of care for patients while reducing the total cost of care for society. How do you do that in, say, something like Parkinson's disease? Due to the nature of Parkinson's disease, a steady change in symptoms is to be expected. As long as a patient is followed in hospital, symptoms can be monitored and their therapy adjusted. But coming home, patients might not catch the gradual worsening of symptoms, can't gain access to their neurologist when needed, or simply are unaware that they have a right to be helped. Om man ser rent praktiskt, när jag fick första problemen med det här, så åkte jag in till akuten. Det fanns ingen parkinsonkunnig som jag kunde vända mig till när det här hände. Och hade jag bara hamnat rätt så hade jag kunnat veta att om jag hade tagit en extra dos så hade jag kunnat häva den här förlamningen som jag fick. Och vad kostar det inte att ha mig in på sjukhus? Tio timmar på akuten. Vad kostar det inte det? In recognizing the need for patient support outside hospitals, Nordic InfuCare has initiated a program where we identify and monitor areas that matter to our patient's quality of life. Regardless of what stage of Parkinson's the person is in, we use home visits, phone calls, telemedicine applications and questionnaires to evaluate their status. Thus, we assess physical and psychological symptoms, as well as social dimensions and personal needs. They all play a part in obtaining the best possible understanding of our patient's well-being. Having the data, we then classify patients as being in one of three zones. Green means the patient is stable. Orange, that interference is needed and will perhaps step up monitoring or recommend new routines. And finally, on red, we'll flag the patient to his or her physician for further evaluation. During any of these stages, we also provide a method which points patients to doctors when they need it the most. It really is a win-win situation. By extending our offering to the ongoing care of people with Parkinson's, we become more relevant in making sure that the treatments prescribed really do what they're intended to do. We've seen great interest in our proposed solution, and we are now looking at ways to implement this new patient pathway for people with Parkinson's. The goal is to deliver the right treatment to the right patient at the right time.